Now here in the room, uh, we're building a global community of people who care a lot about their mission in life. Uh, you uh, have a, you know, from a lot of conversations um, and from you know, a lot of talks you've given, uh, you have a particular view about that, about what our mission in life should be. You believe that our primary mission in life is to make commitments. Can you talk about the four big commitments that you believe we all need to make in order to find fulfillment? Yeah, most of us uh, make these four commitments. They are to a spouse and family for most of us, to a philosophy or faith, to a community, and to a vocation. And so what is a commitment? A commitment is falling in love with something and then building a structure of behavior around it for those moments when love falters. And one of the things you need in order to get to there is the right definition of freedom. We sometimes think that freedom means absence of constraint, that I'm free when I have no strings attached to me. But that's a way to lead a, a scattered life, a, an aesthetic life, where you measure each moment, am I happy, am I bored? And that's ultimately just a series of moments that doesn't add up to anything. The better kind of freedom is freedom of capacity. So if you want to learn to play the piano, you have to chain yourself down to the piano and practice every day. And so that's a different kind of freedom. And I think it's a better kind of freedom to shoot for, the freedom to be able to do things. And so in this paradoxical way, it's your chains that set you free. Now, one of the commitments you mentioned is, is to a vocation. Uh, what's the difference between a career and a vocation? And, and when do you know that you found a vocation? Well, a career is something you do because it serves your interests. <laughs> you have a certain value in the marketplace and you sell that value for the, to the highest bidder. That's a career, and a lot of people have a career. But a, a vocation is something you're called to do. And the, when you set out in life, you don't, the wrong question to ask is, what do I want from life? Viktor Frankl, who was a psychiatrist in Austria in the 1930s, used to ask that question, what do I want from life? Then the Nazis took over his country, he was sent to a concentration camp, and he realized that's the wrong question to ask. The right question to ask is, what does life want from me? Because life puts you in situations. And so the question to ask is, what's, what problem is out there that I'm uniquely qualified to solve? Okay. All right, so David, um, this is going to be a little bit of a surprise to you, but basically I'm going to pose a series of rapid fire questions to you and you have to try and answer them as briefly as possible, maximum seven words or less, right? So let's okay. get started. Gotcha. My time as a bartender was? The best job I ever had. Most fun community ever. <laughs> My favorite sound All is right. laughter around a bar late at night. All right, I love that. What is the ideal opening sentence of your eulogy? David Brooks got better as he went along. <laughs> I love that.